Item number SCP-6084. Security level 1. Containment class safe. Disruption class dark. Risk class notice. Special containment procedures. SCP-6084 instances are to be stored in safe storage container 24 at site 272 as are any additional instances recovered going forward. All currently contained instances have Class C GPS tags attached to their individual components for ease of identification and location in the event they are misplaced. Advertising materials featuring SCP-6084 are to be incinerated, deleted, or otherwise removed. Civilians found in possession of SCP-6084 instances are to be questioned regarding their acquisition and given Class A amnestics. Description SCP-6084 is a line of entertainment brand musical instruments that neither reflect nor absorb light in the ultraviolet, visible or infrared wavelengths, rendering them functionally invisible. Despite this, they are still fully tangible and operational. SCP-6084's electrical components have associated power switches but do not require external power sources to function. There are currently four such instruments in containment. SCP-6084-1, a wireless microphone, an adjustable microphone stand, and two wireless speakers. SCP-6084-2, an electric guitar, a quarter-inch jack connector with a three-meter cord, and an amplifier. SCP-6084-3, electric bass, a quarter-inch jack connector with a three-meter cord, and an amplifier. SCP-6084-4, a drum kit that includes an adjustable drum throne, two drumsticks, a brush, a bass drum, a spear drum, three tom drums, a set of hi-hat cymbals, two crash cymbals, and a company stands. Three instruments were acquired during a Foundation raid on a suspected anomalous research and development facility in Broken Cliff, Missouri, USA. The building was found to be abandoned when Foundation personnel arrived, with SCP-6084 being the only anomalous objects inside. It is conjectured that they were accidentally left behind due to entertainment staff being unable to locate them before departure. Members of MTF Delta 10 Hellbillies discovered the instrument when Operative Johnson walked into SCP-6084-4. The following script was located among other undeveloped marketing material found on site. Now introducing a new and mysteriously Melodical product from your pals at the wonderful world of entertainment, Dr. Wondertainment's Acuity Astounding Ear Band. Ever wanted to lay down some tasty licks or sick beat with your friends, but could never find the time to actually learn how to play? Dr. Wondertainment has you covered, and thanks to his newly palinate. Note, no such pan has been found to exist. See no more technology. Your instruments will never get in the way of how awesome you love doing it. Dr. Wonder Team and Acoustic Astounding Ear Band has an instrument for everyone. The awesome Tastic Ear Guitar. Though as you fill the ear with rocking rhythms. Straight from your fingertips to your audience's ears. The Ultrasonic Unseen Bass. Blow everyone away with the chest thump. With preparations of this hard working instrument. The Melodious the Mast Mike takes center stage and sing your heart out loud and proud. The undeniably unobservable drum set. This precision percussion instrument will have everyone stomping their feet to the beat. The incredibly indecipherable guitar. No band is truly complete without the inclusion of a guitar. Don't let anybody tell you differently. Still in development. The entirely ethereal Tamperin. Check out this enthusiastic placeholder text. Still in development. 
So come on down and buy one today. Dr. Wonder Security is a sounding earbud. Guaranteed 110% safe for children of all ages. Addendum 6084-1. Individual testing with subjects of varying degrees of skill with each instrument has shown that SCP-6084 instances have the ability to improve the quality of music performed. With subjects of high skill, this improvement is generally imperceptible, while the alterations made to musical output of low-skill users is more obvious. Randomly strumming on the strings of SCP-6084-2 or 3 will still produce harmonic, if uninspired rhythms, even without the user touching the fretboard, for example. And speaking into SCP-6084-1 using a monotone voice, or by screaming incoherently, will result in the subject's voice emitting from the speakers with an auto-tune overlay. The mechanisms by which the improvement is determined and applied are currently unknown. Incident Log 6084-1 The following incident occurred on 20 Beep, May 18th. During experiment 6084-24, the first such experiment involving all four instruments being played together as a band, the D-class subjects involved were those determined by research lead Dr. James Smith to have the highest affinity for the particular instrument in the preceding individual tests. Note D-44890 on SCP-6084-1. D-92368 on SCP-6084-2 D-8342 on SCP-6084-3 and D-3434 on SCP-6084-4 Begin Log The D-Class subjects were in a testing chamber that has been converted into a recording studio. They were performing a cover of Beep by the band Beep, despite no instruments being visible. D-4489 Seaworth's expression gradually turns to anger as he sings until he stops mid-lyric and turns to the rest of the band. Stop! Cut! Enough! Stop! The remaining subjects cease playing and look at D-44890 in confusion. Dr. Smith signals from the observation booth. What's the problem this time, D44890? D44890 pointing at, pointing at D92368. Where in the hell do you get this asshole? He keeps dropping notes like he's got holes for hands. Hey, screw you! I'm playing a magical guitar! I literally can't screw it up! Bone crap! He is correct, 890. All previous testing shows the instruments can come as safe for. Boss! I heard what I heard, and I heard him screwing it up! I picked a song, I know what it sounds like! Come on, man! Shut the freak up, beep! You can hardly keep a beat yourself! D3434 standing up! Oh, so we're gonna make it this the prisoner! Sit down before I sit you down, boy! D92368 steps forward and pushes D44890 on the shoulder. Don't you call him boy, boy! D44890 pushes D92368 back. Gentlemen, if you don't calm down right now, I will be forced to call security. The subject ignores Dr. Smith, who signals for security. Screw you! No, screw you! No, screw you! Security officers went and ready enter the testing chamber and move toward D44890 and D. 92368. D44890 reaches over and clutches his hand in a fist and maces it up in the air. Presumably having taken hold of SCP-6084-1 stand, he then takes it in both hands and swings it down at D92368, who attempts to block the blow with his arm. D92368's arm moves slightly as the brief indentation appears on the sleeve of his jumpsuit. A high-pitched squeak, like that of a child's toy, emanates from the point of impact. Officers went and ready, slow in their approach, surprise evident on their and the D-class subjects' faces. What the hell? D44890 
D44890 swings SCP-6084 went again to the same effect. D92368 shows no signs of pain or injury. He unslings SCP-6084-2 from around his neck, grabs the fretboard on both hands, and swings it at D44890 like a baseball bat. Like SCP-6084-1, it only causes a slight indentation and a high-pitched squeak. I, uh, I suppose you may stand down, officers. Officers Rent and Vicky shrug at each other and step back as D-8342 hits D-44890 on the top of his head with SCP-6084-3 and D-3434 throws one of scp 684 4s drums at D-92368. Unlike the other instruments, most of scp 684 4s components make their standard percussive sounds upon impact, but otherwise had similar effect. End log. Afterward. Standard testing was abandoned after this point. The remaining footage is comprised of the D-Class subjects engaging in light-hearted roughhousing using the various components of scp 684